So, <clears throat> had to uh, had to get out and get a hike. Uh, if you follow my channel, you don't want to get personal, but uh, um, my wife moved out, took a bunch of stuff, and uh, so uh, that's why I haven't been making too many videos because uh, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, you know, changing passwords and changing locks and that type of thing, and I made a video about that. But anyway, um, I've been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> I've been a little depressed, I guess you could say. But uh, so, um, you know, so I watched the whole Rittenhouse trial, and uh, what a what a fiasco that was. Oh my God, I, I I can't believe that prosecutor. I mean, so I wanted to kind of get spirit spiritual just a little bit, okay? Um, and and one of the shows that I was talking about was spirit spirituality, because um, I do believe in God, and I. Uh, so I was watching this guy and I thought, you know, you know, we do know there's good and there's evil. Okay. And, and then of course you've got the gray areas in between, uh, on either side. So for example, you know, uh, is, is a gay couple bad? I don't know. You know, I uh, don't think so. And it doesn't bother me if two women want to be together or two men. Who cares, right? You know, uh, this whole, uh, you know, everything's racist uh, battle, that's uh, that's evil. When you call somebody a racist, that's, that's uh, you're saying that they're evil. And uh, and, the, and if you're lying when you say they're racist, which 90% of the time they are, then you're evil for calling them a racist. You see what I'm saying? So the spirituality, uh, it's, like I said, the gray areas, um, the, uh, but I don't know. I mean, and then then the people coming out and saying uh, uh, Rittenhouse was a white supremacist. He, <laughs> how can you be a white supremacist and kill two one two white dudes? One was a pedophile, and the other one had a rap sheet a mile long. And of course, the third one had a gun pointed to his head. And uh, how in the hell that even went to trial is beyond me. I mean, I, I that was evil, right? So, uh, and of course, I guess that was just a political battle. They wanted to show how guns were bad. Um, the, uh, the most recent thing was that car in Wisconsin that just plowed into the parade. Uh, the numbers went up. It was 48 people that were injured and I think uh, five dead. Um, but you know, so here's a, here's something I'll throw out to the, the left wing idiot fanatics, you know, then we need to ban cars, right? I mean, we're working on it with the high gas prices. Uh, you know, Biden's taken down, let's see what, two pipelines and destroyed the fracking industry and uh, ended uh, ended the ex oil exploration, what did you think the gas prices were going to do? So I just heard on the radio, and it makes sense because the oil prices have gone so high that a lot of people are buying firewood now to heat their homes this winter. And, uh, and that makes a lot of sense. But think about it. All of that smoke and carbon dioxide from burning wood is now going to go into the atmosphere. Probably a lot more uh, carbon dioxide than, you know, oil would have done. So, you know, it's, I just, you know, I'm looking at this whole thing and it just, the whole world makes, makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, and I know I'm just, this is kind of like a news report, I guess I, I should say. Uh, there were 10, you know, unreported by the media, unreported by anybody, there were 10 major explosions in China. We have no idea what that's about because they've got a total lockdown on their media, you know, and we do too for, for a large part. You know, there's a lot of censorship. Who knows? This video may get censored, you know, but uh, so just kind of wanted to talk about things. Uh, you know, in life, uh, there's always a bright side to everything, you know. So I'm seeing the upside to my wife being out of the house. Uh, number one, we don't have to argue politics anymore. She's a huge, huge, huge Biden uh, Democrat supporter. Uh, believes in uh, believes in the Green New Deal, even though she has a car only getting 22 miles to the gallon. Mine gets 133. <laughs> uh, she's gonna feel that pinch now that she's on her own. But uh, anyway, um, so where was I going with all of this? Oh, I was going to talk about the upside of her being out of the house. You know, one thing that it always baffled me, and I don't know if this is true of women in general, 
because I've only been married one time and probably will never be married again. Uh, she used to run that washing machine every other day. And, uh, you know, I've been home, what, two weeks? I've done one load of laundry. <laughs> and I didn't even have to do that. I just said, well, you know what, let's go ahead and do, get the laundry out of the way because I was putting away, the, I, I'm still unpacking from what was going to be a 10,000 mile journey where I was going to make videos and, and uh, have some fun. Uh, instead, I had to rush home into an empty house um, to see what damage my wife had done moving out while I was up helping my mom, you know. But uh, so there's that. I mean, I'm going to save a hell of a lot of water. <laughs> you know, cause, and I haven't even run the dishwasher yet since I got home. Uh, the other thing is a huge savings is, you know, her, her main thing was going out to eat. I hate going out to eat, you know. It's just, it just takes up too much of your day. You know, I guess I'm just, uh, I, I'm just busy all the time. You know, I'm working, now I got to get to work on writing. I got three more books in the kitty that I'm working on. I, I got a website that I'm working on. Uh, plus I got to get out and get my exercise like I am today. You know, um, she, she left me the dog for now. Supposedly she's coming back and she's going to take the dog. Cause I, I tell you what, I, I don't know why people want pets. Um, you know, it's a, it's a hell of a lot of work. You know, you gotta poop them, you gotta pee them, you gotta feed them, you gotta water them. You know, and, and they are great company, no doubt about it. And of course, you know, the other day, you know, or the last few days, I'm just trying to watch TV. And the dogs start barking at something, wants to go outside, I don't know what's going on, you know. And so he's getting me up and, you know, bugging, coming in, and licking on me, because that's, that's when it usually means he has to go to the bathroom. And, just all kinds of stuff, you know. It's a, it's a it's a complication in your life. I mean, it's a good one to have in some ways. Uh, so anyway, uh, but uh, you know, getting back to that car thing. I mean, you know, if 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 a car is a weapon, and it looks like it's a pretty damn good one, right? Took out 48 people and killed five. Boy, we need to ban all cars, don't we? Isn't that what we need to do? Because I don't think even a, a if it'd been a, a shooter. I doubt he would have been able to shoot 48 people before the cops took him out. I would imagine he might have gotten maybe the, he, he might have been able to, to kill the five that that guy with the car killed, but I don't think he would have been able to injure another 48 before the uh, cops would, uh, would have shot him or, or somebody that had an open carry. Now, I don't know, uh, well, I guess I do know the laws in Wisconsin. They do have open carry. There are a lot of requirements on that. I did not know that Wisconsin was a mostly Democrat state. I always thought that was Republican, but uh, well, they did go Democrat this past election, but I think that was uh, shenanigans, really. So um, anyway, I guess uh, that's it. I mean, the, the spiritual thing is, it really hit me, you know? And, and here's, here's, the, here, here's the thing that the guy was pointing out. How do we know right from wrong? Hmm? I think we all know that murdering somebody is is wrong right i think we all know that stealing is wrong and how do but the the, the, the thing he was pointing out is this is just a, a part of our, our persona when god created us we instinctively know these things you know how do you know that calling somebody a name is wrong like a racist you want to call somebody a racist, for example. You know, your moral compass is there when you're born. If you talk to the most hardened criminal or even a serial murderer, if you ask them, did you know that you were committing evil, that you were doing wrong? And they would say, yeah. You know, the media, I don't know how they sleep with themselves. You know, they lie about everything. So they, got, they know, because God gave them that moral compass, that that's wrong. So, so my question to you would be, and this is what the guy was pointing out in the video, is, is how do we have this conscience? Okay, where did it come from? You know, does a does a squirrel teasing a dog know he's <laughs> he's he's doing wrong? I don't know, but it, we all have a certain consciousness about us where we know right from wrong, and I. Uh, and so we know when we're when we're doing evil, or when we're doing things uh, bad, 
you know, if you're firing somebody because they didn't get the, uh, the jab, for example, that's wrong. And you know it, you know. Uh, anyway, I guess that's just it for this video. I wanted to just make something. I'm out here at uh, Chernobyl. Let me, uh, let me whip the camera around, show you what I'm seeing. I'm the only person here, although that was the case the other day when two dogs attacked me. <laughs> This idiot woman was in here with four dogs and two of them were uh, uh, vicious, you know, and uh, luckily I had the uh, the uh, stick along with me and I could I could swing it at the dogs as they came at me and uh, you'll see uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. I was able to back up into the uh, the uh, weeds on the on to get to do because what they do is they circle you and they try to hamstring you from behind, especially when they're they're pack animals, you know, dogs are. And uh, so I had two of them coming at me. Luckily, the other two were, were uh, uh, I guess, uh, nice dogs. So they didn't attack me. So just having the two, I was able to poke one in the head and, uh, and then just swing at the other one, you know. And, but here, I'll show you. Let's take a look at the trail. So there you go. And uh, so if you could picture that right there, that's what I backed up into. To keep the dogs from uh, from getting behind me and hamstringing me, and then I just took the uh, the selfie stick here and just swung it at them. So that's uh, always good. That's why I, I tell you, if you get out here in the forest like I do, you know, walking stick is always a, a good idea. Um, you know, but I'm just out today. I, I didn't the walking sticks in the back of the car, but I just didn't think I I needed it, and uh, so I'm just in because there was no cars in the parking lot. It was just me, but. You know, who knows, that, that idiot woman might come back with them dogs again and I'll have to beat them off. But uh, now that I know what to do, as long as I got something in my hands to swing at those dogs, I think I'll be able to hold them off. All right, well, y'all, uh, y'all peace out. I, you know, I just kind of like to think about things in general. Um, I, I, there's a lot more savings. You know, I, right now I'm paying my uh, wife's, uh, uh, medical gap uh, insurance policy so that'll be a savings right there no more going out to eat that'll be a savings a lot less water that'll be a savings a lot less electricity oh my god i would come home in the summertime and the air conditioning would be down to 75 degrees and it's 100 degrees outside now you can only just a little information for you you can only take the uh the air conditioning 20 below what it is outside Otherwise, it'll run 24/7. And I would tell her, I said, "Look, right now you can you can crank it down to 60 degrees. The house, the the best you're going to do is get the house to 80 degrees when it's 100 degrees outside. So you might as well just you know put it put the put the uh, air conditioning up on 82 and leave it there. So she would do that, or you know in the mornings, I do like it cool at night. So at this time of the year, I I keep it nice and cold in the house, and then I uh, and then during the day, you know as soon as you get up, you just crank it back up again so that you know, you're not running the heat or the air conditioning. So that's going to be a huge savings for me. Uh, the dishwasher, you know, once again, more water. That'll be a huge savings. Um, you know, the, she was always into um, expensive foods, you know. And, and I like fresh vegetables and I like uh, uh, fruit, a lot of fruit, um, which the price of those are going up thanks to uh, Biden's inflation. By the way, I hope that $3.5 trillion doesn't go through. I mean, I, I can't imagine what these people think about. And well, and now we know, and maybe I'll put it on this video. We know those 13 Rhino Republicans that we got a primary out uh, that voted for the uh, last uh, 1.5 trillion. You know, you've already got inflation, people. If you ain't seeing it, then I don't know what to tell you. You've got your head buried in the sand. Oh, that's a that's a good story for you. So I was at uh, Bob Evans. Let me so I was at Bob Evans the other day, and uh, there were two, um, you know, I was talking, just talking about things. Uh, this was Veterans Day, and, uh, and they were Democrats. And I, and I looked at him, and I said, I said, I said, so you're for what took place in Afghanistan? And they're like, oh, this shit now, this shit now, we don't need to hear that. I said, so you're for open borders, right? And they're like, oh, you're for the garbage, you know. I said, are you, are you Russia, are you Russia, Russia. They, they even got onto the Russia hoax. <laughs> and I said, I said, that was a hoax, it's been proven. I said, you ever heard of John John Durham, you know? And, and they were like, oh yeah, you're one of them right-wing lunatics. You know, they won't even, 
they won't even argue with you. They, all they do is call you names and, and, and tell you, you know, how you, you're a bad person. <laughs> That's their whole argument. And I'm like, well, you got any facts that can tell me, you know, what did Trump do bad? You know, what, what's one thing that he did that was terrible other than some nasty tweets, you know? And, uh, and how are you? Are you? He's, a, he's a Russian. He's a Russian asset. He's a Russian asset. I said, what news are you getting, man? Where are you getting your news at? <laughs> <laughs> and man, I tell you, you should have seen him run into that restaurant. In fact, that I lost my appetite at that point. I just I went ahead and left because I just went in and took my name off the list because I couldn't even stand being around him. You know, it was just uh, it was just unbelievable. You know, and, and you, you it's just I don't see how you reason with people like that. You know, if you want to argue with me about something, you know, let's argue uh, policies. You know. The Democrats are now spending, you know, $5 trillion. You think that's a good idea? Let's argue about that. Why do you think that's a good idea? Oh, you're just a right-wing lunatic. You're a right-wing lunatic. You know? Oh, man, I tell you. All right. That's it for this video. I got a little long-winded here. But uh, just out enjoying the day. Isn't it beautiful here? I love Chernobyl. And it is fairly close to my house. And didn't burn one drop of gas getting here. It was all electric power in that Toyota Prius Prime. So uh, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm all in on the Green New Deal, baby, because <laughs> it ain't costing me anything. That's another thing. A lot of people, they say, well, when you charge up that car, how much is your electricity bill going up? Uh, well, now with my wife gone, it's actually gone down. <laughs> so, so I'm actually saving money on electricity, uh, charging up the car and not burning any gas. So, all right, peace out. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom, good to be in the Republican state where we have no jabs, no vaccine mandates, and we are free to come and do as we please. And our economy is booming thanks to the great leadership of the Governor DeSantis. Thought I'd add just a little something to the video. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, kind of up on a ridge here, looking down. You know, and I'm always throwing ideas out for Central Florida. If uh, anybody in the rec department ever watches my videos, this is a little uh, side trail off of the main trail. And they cut this area right here. That'd be great to put some picnic tables in there. Yeah, this be a, the, I'm almost at the halfway point of the hike, or maybe just beyond it, probably. And uh, this would be a wonderful place to hole up and have a snack on a picnic table. Maybe just one table, you know. Um, but I could see where you might uh, put some other stuff in there uh, for people to enjoy. Because it's a, it's a nice open area, and they cut it. I don't know. Just my my thoughts. So here's a... <laughs> Here's an insane fact for you. I just heard it on the radio. Was uh, I uh, in some of these Democrat states? You know, they're requiring you carry a vaccine uh, passport card to like go out to eat or do anything like that. And you know that impacts the minorities more than anybody else. But anyway, and then to verify the the passport that it's not fake, they ask for an ID. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have to have an ID to, to eat uh, at a restaurant, but you don't have to have an ID to vote. And uh, that just cracks me up, man. I'm telling you, the craziness of the world. Uh, the other one, uh, this guy, uh, now I haven't, I just heard it on the radio. I'm not sure. But uh, he was a convicted felon uh, for whatever reason. He had, uh, And I'm not sure what he had just done. Uh, um, but he had just committed some sort of big crime and but they let him out on a thousand dollar bail and I, I haven't verified this yet but I think he was a he was a black dude that just killed a bunch of white people so <laughs> so, so uh, you know here we got Kyle Rittenhouse who goes out and kills two white dudes and shoots another white dude and he's a he's a racist uh, a white supremacist you know because he killed white people and now we got a black peace person that kills a bunch of white people so uh, let's see. I, I wonder what they're going to call that black dude. Would he be a black racist? I don't know. You, you tell me. What do you think?